It's mid-November, it's a beautiful day, it's warm, it's sunny, and the fishing reports have been good. So that means everybody with a boat and a fishing rod is out here on the water. I'm fishing a school of peanut bunker with this small fleet of boats. And you can see them flashing by in the millions. And I live line one of them and boom, hooked up. I had been fishing in deeper water earlier and without much success. I was marking fish. I was marking stripers and I was marking bait fish uh, lots, but couldn't get them to hit. And this big fleet of boats out there, I only saw one fish caught. No one was really doing anything. I threw my whole tackle box at these things and I only got one uh, on a small rubber shad. I like to use one of those rubber Home Depot gloves to land these things so that your hands don't get too torn up. And you can see it's it's only about a 24 inch fish. That's what most of them were about that size that were in here. This is shallower water here. It's only about 10 feet deep and you can see it's very close to the beach, uh, fishing just outside of the breakers. So I'm just using a jig head here with a live bunker on it. And you can see I'm just kind of jigging it every once in a while just to kind of wake the bunker up. Um, I could feel him swimming around out there. And when he'd stop, I just kind of jig it a little bit just to kind of get him going again. And that was enough to get this hit here. I'm using a jig head just out of laziness and convenience. I had been out in deeper water, as I said earlier, and I was jigging with a small shad, rubber shad. And when I came across this school of bunker, I just took the rubber shad off and I started snagging bunker with it and dropping them down. And it worked, so I just kept doing it. I think it's kind of boring just to watch someone reel in a fish. So let's look at, I put the camera underwater and shot this school of bunker swimming by and I think it's just kind of cool. We're back out here and um, about to land this one. It's about the same size, 24 inches. They're fun to catch. Um, we had bigger fish earlier in the week, but I don't know, I'll take this kind of day anytime. Nice, warm, comfortable. You're out there. It reminded me of fluke fishing, really. In fact, um, I caught a 20-inch fluke. Um, I, the camera, I think the battery died or something, so I don't have that on camera. But, um, you know, fluke season's closed. I had to let it go. But it was a nice, big, fat 20-inch fluke. And you can see the jig head there. It's just a plain white jig head, 3 8 ounce jig head. Um, and I'm just going to flip it back out there into the school of bunker and just kind of let it sink a little bit and it only took really one sweep of the rod to jab a bunker and then I just kind of pull him in check him out make sure he's hooked on there good and then send him back out and let him sink down to the like on the edge of the schools where I was getting most of my action and wait for another hit it was a great day